Hello beautiful people. Today we are going to be talking about protein and where vegans get protein. Um, that is one of the biggest questions that come up when I tell people that I am vegan, especially living in Texas. It is such a meat culture, barbecue culture, you know, like protein culture. So I just wanted to make a video kind of showing that vegans can get just as much protein as meat eaters while also getting way more fiber and just vitamins and minerals and less fat, which is pretty interesting. If you are new to my channel, I make videos about my orthorexia recovery, um, I do some fashion videos, and I do some videos about veganism, and pretty much any other walk of life. So, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys stick around and subscribe. So, I wanted to make a video about protein, but there are so many videos that are just information and science-based, but not a lot of videos that are straight up comparing what a vegan eats in a day to a meat eater and seeing the difference in macronutrients and proteins and all around like vitamins and health so that's what we're doing today I asked my boyfriend's little brother if he would send me a picture of everything he ate in a day I did not tell him what I was doing in this video but I just wanted him to show honestly what he would typically eat in a day and I didn't want to persuade him to eat more protein than he normally would which I kind of ended up with, a, with him eating a 32 ounce steak so I didn't think there would be any way I could meet his protein intake but I was going to try you know to get as close as possible but I surprised myself and probably am going to surprise you because I actually ended up taking more grams of protein per calorie than he did. So I would say he ate probably like the typical standard American diet. Um, so as you can see, he had two sandwiches like ham and cheese on white bread. He also had some chips, which I actually didn't add into chronometer because I forgot, but it's okay because it didn't um, affect his protein intake at all. And then he had a piece of cheesecake and a 32 ounce ribeye with some french fries from a steakhouse. So when I saw that he had that for dinner, I was kind of like, oh my god, there's no way I will be able to meet his protein intake, but I did. So anyways, let's look at his calorie intake and his macronutrients and vitamins and everything. So as you can see, he had 3,753 calories, and if you look um, on the bars that show how much protein, fat, and carbs he ate, he actually had more fat than protein. I thought that was pretty interesting because I feel like a lot of people that eat the standard American diet feel like their diet is mainly protein, but what they don't realize is their diet is mainly fat. Okay, and here you can see that he had 156 grams of carbs and three and 213 grams of fat. That is a lot of fat. And if you look over and see that he reached all of his B vitamins because meat is actually fortified with B vitamins. So it's not like animals naturally have all of these vitamins in them. Um, when they are mass produced in factories, they are injected with these vitamins and that is why it's so easy to get the vitamins from animals but what you can see is he doesn't reach his folate or any of the vitamin A, C, D, E, or K he lacks in all of those which I thought was not surprising because he had no real nutrients he only had bread and um, processed foods so yeah okay and then if you look at his fats you can see that he had 83 grams of saturated fat that is so much saturated fat and that is like the number one cause of heart disease and he had 918.5 milligrams of cholesterol and cholesterol and saturated fats are what is going to give heart disease and um, they are shown to link to cancer and just cholesterol is only found in animal products naturally our body produces enough cholesterol we do not need anymore so that is a really high and honestly dangerous amount of cholesterol and of course he got a lot of protein he got 289 grams of protein which is a lot but 
compared to the 3,753 calories he ingested, um, he got more fat, so that's not a good sign either. And then if you look, he didn't even meet his recommended daily amount of cholesterol, which is really interesting. Nor did he meet his magne magnes, and he was a little bit below in potassium also. And actually, these percents are based off of my weight, not his. So he would be even shorter in these vitamins um, than he is now. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay, and now let's switch over to what I ate. I had a smoothie bowl with spinach and berries and bananas and I had two scoops of protein powder which equaled 30 calories. I would not recommend adding protein powder to your smoothies every day, especially two scoops, but for the purpose of this video and just proving that vegans can have as much protein as they want, I decided to go for it. I also had um, some chia seeds in my smoothie and soy milk and flax seeds and then for lunch I had a sandwich with two pieces of bread and tofu, lettuce, mushrooms, hummus, avocado, tomato, red bell peppers. And then on the side I had a salad with some broccoli salt and quinoa and spinach and lettuce. Um, I had some salsa as dressing and put some avocado and hummus on it as well and that was super delicious. And then for dinner, I had black bean pasta, which is super high in protein, along with the pasta sauce and broccoli, which is extremely high in protein. I also put some nutritional yeast on my pasta and on my sandwich. I actually put it on the tofu before I baked it, which kind of gives it a cheesy taste, which was super good. And I added some spinach to my pasta as well, just for some extra protein. And then for dessert, I had Lynn and Larry's All Natural Complete Cookie. I actually had the chocolate chip peanut butter swirl one, but they didn't have that chronometer, so I just said the pumpkin spice because the macros were the same. So that equaled 2,824 calories. Um, which is quite a bit. I don't know. I never track calories, so I don't know if this is like a normal for me or um, not because I was trying to eat so high protein. I normally do not eat this high protein at all. And if you can see, I hit completely over the recommended amount of calcium and iron. And if you look at Bobby's, he had 21.7 milligrams of iron, and I actually had 43.4 milligrams of iron, which is quite a bit more than him. And he had a 32 ounce steak, and people are always so obsessed with the fact that meat has iron, and I had no meat and double the iron he had, which is pretty awesome. And if you can see, I also hit all of my B vitamins um, just as well as he did. The only things I were lacking in was vitamin D and vitamin E, um, but I was out in the sun and I got plenty of vitamin D yesterday. Um, I was a little low in vitamin E, but that's okay. And then we can go and look at my fats, which I had 65.5 grams of fat. Um, I had no milligrams of cholesterol. I had 8.4 grams of saturated fat, so that's very healthy. And then if you look at my protein, I had 178 grams of protein, which is a ton, especially for only consuming 2,824 calories. I had, if you do the math, you will see that I had 15.8 grams of protein per calorie. And Bobby only had 12.9 grams of protein per calorie, so... Um, compared that way, I actually took in more protein than he did, which was awesome, and I was so surprised by that. Um, but that is just such a good example of how veganism is not in any way lacking nutrients or macronutrients or micronutrients, and you can be, and you will be, way, way more healthy if you take out animal products from your diet. And then if we look at my calcium, I completely hit that. Copper, iron, magnesium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, selenium, sodium, zinc. I completely hit all my targets, which was amazing. And yeah, I... Oh, and if you look back up at my um, protein, fat, carbs ratio bar, you will see that even though I got a ton of protein, I mostly got carbs which is what our whole entire body runs off of. Every cell in our body runs off of carbs, including our brains and our muscles and everything. So 
overall I ate super high protein, um, but still kept my fats really small and my carbs high, which is the goal. And I forgot to compare fiber, so I had 105.6 grams of fiber and Bobby only had 10.3 grams of fiber. That is hardly any fiber at all. Um, like, yeah, I had literally like 10 times as much fiber as he did and I got more protein also, so that just goes to show you that veganism can be whatever you want it to be. If you want to eat high protein, you definitely can. You don't have to though. The whole protein thing is a myth and we were brainwashed to feel like we needed a lot of protein to ensure that we bought animal products. Um, but in all honesty, we only need like 5% of our diet to, co to contain protein. So there's really no reason that you shouldn't consider veganism. Um, there are so many amazing things that you can eat vegan, including ice cream and cookies, uh, pasta, sandwiches, burgers, anything you can imagine you can have vegan. And you will be a lot healthier in the long run for it, as you can tell by comparing our daily calorie intake, macronutrients, vitamins, and everything. So everything people worry about, like protein, I got more protein than he did. Vitamin B, um, I got all of my B vitamins I had more than he did. I had more calcium, and then I had more of the vitamin A, B, C, you know, all the way to K, and I had more fiber than he did, and less cholesterol and saturated fats. So when people try to argue that veganism isn't um, as nutritious as eating meat, it's really a false argument based off of the obsession with animal products and the big animal corporations wanting to keep producing as much animals as they can to keep making as much money as they can. They don't care about your health, they don't care about the animals, they only care about the bottom dollar and that's it. So these are things to keep in mind when you are making your food choices and the food choices for your family members. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. I hope you learned something from it that veganism is not restrictive in any way and that you can get as much protein and vitamins as you need on a plant-based diet. So thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. Leave a comment down below what you thought about me getting more protein than someone who eats a 32-ounce steak. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.